In this video, I want to show you how to manage and add your email campaigns in the eEdge system with Market Leader. First thing you want to do is come to your eEdge control panel, click the plus sign here, and either create, manage, and create campaigns. When you are here, you're going to see a new view if you haven't been in the system before, or if you have, it's been updated. And you're going to notice any of your campaigns will show up here. It will tell you if it's active, if it's off, paused. You can see reports and all kinds of great things. Well, what I want to show you now is how to add a new campaign. Since there's a lot of new agents that join around this time of year, I thought now is a great time to come in here and see what your campaign options are. You're going to hear a lot of different terms thanks to the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. We talk about something called an 8x8, 33 touch, which is becoming a 36 touch, and it all can be a little confusing. So the first thing to understand is an 8x8 is basically 8 touches in 8 weeks. It's one touch a week, whether it's email, most of these emails are six emails or seven because they want you to do a phone call, handwritten note as well with the campaign. So you can look for that by just looking for eight by eight and that will show you all the recent eight by eights. So here's one for buyers for 2017 to 18. Um, they have two versions. When it's just the name, it means it's an I statement because it's for an individual. And when it has team next to it, the only difference is it says, we are here to help you. And it uses the we instead because you're a team. It's no wrong answer, whichever one you want to use. I tended to use team because I approach everything as we are a team here at Keller Williams. So if that's one that you wanted, you can see some details about that campaign down below, choosing them here, and you would just click choose template if that's the one that you wanted to create. Now you can come in here and click on each one as a preview. This is what it's going to look like. And then this will always have your information down below. You can personalize it. If you click personalize, you can customize the mail. Um, I think that's a great idea to begin with just to make sure everything looks good. I tend to leave it the way it is, but you have that ability. If you want to change the order of these steps, you can click here and rearrange them if you wanted that to be first. You can change these dates of when things go out so they're scheduled. An eight by eight is an interval based, meaning whoever I add today, they're going to get step one the next day after. Then step two, seven days after that. Step three, seven days after that. You can also add your own steps if you want to customize this in any way. So the first step is naming. If you want to change the name of this, that's what number one is. Number two is choosing all the right steps. And you'll notice there's an activity in step five, which is a phone call, and they have a script ready to go. Then you'll have step seven is the last phone call. And then step eight is another email. And step nine is telling me that my campaign has ended. So that's kind of what that's going to be. You hit save and continue to keep going through this. Step three is allowing you to add people. You can add your groups and everybody in that group will receive that email or you can manually add some contacts. So for this example, I'll just use this example, save changes. So anybody in that group would receive this email. And the most important step is number four because you need to review and activate. If you skip step number four, it is going to um, not actually be active. If it's in the new slash pause, means it's not sending out any emails. Now, I love this. Once the contact completes the campaign, automatically add them to the following campaign. Now, this is an 8x8 campaign, so I suggest you create your 33 slash 36 touch first. That way you can choose that as an option when you come through here. That way when it's done with the 8x8, it'll automatically roll them over to the next campaign, which would be a 33 touch, which as you guessed is 33 touches throughout the year. And we're changing it to be 36 touch with the new MREA2 book. Um, so that will eventually change its name as well. But the goal being it's about 29 or 30 emails and then it wants you to give phone calls, handwritten notes and activities as well to be a true 33 touch. You want to make sure you check this. I have reviewed the campaign and I agree. Um, you can showcase properties. Just note if you do that, it's going to point them to your eEdge website. So your market leader website. If you're not using that website for anything, I may not check showcase properties, um, but it is your choice. And then you activate campaign. 
That's how you create the campaign. And then when you need to manage it, you go back to that marketing and go create and manage campaigns. So they're here, here's all the different campaigns and I can come and find that buyer one I just created. So it should be here. There's the buyer one, here's the newest one. So if you need to edit it, you would just click the title and go right back into the editor for it. That's how you create a campaign and make sure that you have the right ones that you need. I would do a quick cheat sheet if you need one. I would do a 33 touch for everybody that isn't looking to buy or sell because that's gonna be your way of keeping in touch with people throughout the year, 33 to 36 times. Then you're gonna want a eight by eight for buyers. That way anybody you're working with who's thinking about buying now or is currently buying, it'll send them an email every week about the buying process and it will remind you to give them a call and to follow up with them along the process. That way, at least for the next eight weeks, you are in constant contact with the buyers. And then same thing for sellers, there's an eight by eight seller. Those would be the main campaigns I would have. If you have somebody who really doesn't want too much real estate information, like a 33 touch is at least two emails a month, then I would also do the 12 month campaign, which is just one email a month. That way it's lighter if that's what you choose to do. This is a great system. Go ahead and check out other videos on eEdge here. If you like this video, please give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and follow me on KDB Connect today.